Well, there's one thing I've always loved since I was just a tiny little boy, and that's building forts. We used to do it when we were just little kids. Now we're doing it, we're just little bigger kids. Uh, today we're building what I guess you could call our hay bale blind. Uh, we got these great square bales, rectangular bales, if you will. They come right off the alfalfa that we grow. We have a local farmer and rancher that bales them for us. And as part of our crop share deal, we get about a third of the bales, he takes two thirds. What we're trying to do is just create another spot that we can hunt on this property. We know the deer filter from the back there where the bedding area is. They come out here to feed on our alfalfa, the brassicas that we're gonna plant in two weeks. So we're just trying to create another place where we can attack them and ambush them. Now these are the island trees as we call them, but there's no tree here. There's really no good place for us to set up. Now we could do your standard ground blind, but there's so many ways that we want to shoot, we thought, let's see what we can do with these bales, and that's exactly what we've done. We positioned them here, creating windows, so essentially, cameraman and I will be able to climb in there and hide. He'll be able to work together to try to get that best shot angle, and hopefully if we get a little bit of back protection so that they can't see us moving, whether we got to put some more bales in and to try to create that darkness, we should be able to hide in here. So we're just finishing it up here. We're laying the first couple layers of the wall. Chad's running the uh, tractor here with the pallet forks. That's really the only way you can move these bales because they're really dense. We're just getting them set into position. Then we'll create our first layer of windows. And then as you can see here, we'll put a third tier on, which would be kind of the roof line, if you will. And then we should be in pretty good position. We did learn the hard way today that with this dry summer that we're having, there's a pretty good crop of bees and every one of us has been stung a few times, so we're all uh, licking our wounds, if you will. We're gonna give the bees their space till uh, freeze up, and then uh, we're gonna take over and we will be in this blind. I think it's gonna come together perfectly.